Adam Taxon here with Daniel Greenfield, a.k.a. Sultan Kanish, whose columns can be found at sultankanish.blogspot.com. Today's column is The Efficiency War, and it is uh, May 9th, 2012. Uh, and Daniel, tell us, first of all, let's be efficient here with this uh, clip. What is the efficiency war? The efficiency war is a struggle between whether government will try to make us more efficient or whether we will try to make it more efficient. Now, efficient means smaller, it means, better, it means better able to function. Now, the government would like us to function more efficiently in order to run our lives. We would like government to function more efficiently so it stops taking quite so much of our money and quite so many of our resources. Uh, doesn't efficiency and your discussion of efficiency have to do a lot with uh, government's basic contempt for the populace? How does that work? Yes, it does, because what government thinks is that if it can just make people function the way it wants them to, like factory workers on an assembly line, then it can make all its visions of national health care and all the other nationalization dreams come true. And uh, when, it, when they don't come true, it's not because there's a fault in its system or in its ideology or in its practices, it's because there's a fault in us. We're not being efficient enough, we're not exercising enough, we're not eating the right way, we're not doing the right thing in a way that will make their system work. And that fits totally into the way the mentality was by those who ruled the Soviet Union. And you allude to that in your column, right? Yes, it is. The, the Soviet Union was a massive thumping disaster. But the disaster was always on the government side, yet the government always insisted that the disaster was the human element. The human beings weren't living up to its vision for it. Collective farms should work fine if it wasn't just for the people on them, who for some reason seemed to work better on their own. The collectivization never leads to efficiency, but the collectivizers insist that the reason it doesn't lead to efficiency is because of the human factor. Uh, where does environmentalism fit in with all of this? It's a global mandate, certainly a national mandate, for forcing efficiency on everyone. In the definition of efficiency, which says that people have to make do with less and have to use less, so at the same time government gets bigger, does less, but at the same time uses more. Finally, uh, what's the most, we're trying to keep this efficient here, what's the most important point regarding, to, regarding the efficiency war that uh, we have not discussed yet that you'd like people to know? It's a basic power struggle. Either we make government efficient or government makes us efficient, which really means that either we become impoverished or government becomes impoverished. Either we have small government or our lives will be poorer. Daniel Greenfield, author of The Efficiency War, which is the May 9th, 2012 entry at sultankanish.blogspot.com. Thanks for keeping it efficient and thanks for your time today.